a lot of challenges that we got to go through low cables, low uh, trees. Now with the leaves all out, everything's different. The lines are a lot lower. And the wires going through the trees make it very tough on the drivers to be able to pay attention and not catch a wire when they're servicing cans. And that's one of the thing, big things you got to look out for. If it's impeding the driver from driving down the road, they verify it's safe and, and go around the tree or go under the limb in a safe spot, then report it to the route manager or dispatch if it's something they can't get through and it's a safety concern. They have to make that decision to either go in or not go in. Our drivers are put into some pretty tough situations and we as managers need to take action and utilize the low wire reporting process. Work with your local cities to explain the servicing challenges. If you have low wires, um, you know our, our drivers may not be able to service the containers as we are doing now. A power line that gets caught on top of one of our commercial vehicles could be a potentially fatal situation for our employee. The spatial awareness on these trucks is, is, is very critical for our drivers. They have to realize the overall height of the truck, the overall width of the truck. They have to have that vision of their vehicle and its size and it, is this big square going to fit into that round hole. And if it's not, then they have to make that call. We've hit branches. It's concrete, it's rebar, whatever hits it could stop and come off the back of your vehicle and hit what's behind you. You created not only an initial collision problem, but a secondary collision and everything else that goes along with it. Let's get this thing out. In order to prevent those, we have to have working safety warning devices. We have multiple overhead alarms in our trucks. Uh, there's a proximity switch that'll tell you whether the tailgate's up, it'll tell you whether the body's up, it'll tell you the top door's open, the arm's out. Some of, some of the bridges and overpasses that we've struck, some of the vehicles that we've tuna canned open has been due to either a safety device not working properly or a safety device being disabled. Modifying or disabling a safety device is a life critical role. It is not tolerated. Uh, it can lead to catastrophic injury um, to our employees and catastrophic events have occurred uh, in the public because of them. If you have an alarm going off or something like that, please do not disable the alarm. Just pull the truck over and immediately uh, have a road call assigned so that a, a qualified technician can go ahead and make that assessment for you so that you aren't in any type of danger. Uh, but don't just let an alarm uh, go off. It, it's a noise hazard, but it's also a safety hazard um, if that is malfunctioning. Under no circumstances would you ever want to modify, uh, bypass, or disable any of these systems because they're put in place to protect you uh, our most valuable asset and the, and the public.